napakagandang balita talaga ngayon na talagang wala nang mask. Kung makikita ninyo, is talagang yung iba is wala nang basi. Yung mga na nainom dito sa coffee shop is wala nang mask. Filipino caregiver Chris Salcedo just recorded this vlog in April after restrictions were eased due to the successful vaccination program in Israel. Filipino communities are excited to hold events like what they used to do before the pandemic. But with the tension in the Gaza area, they have now mixed emotions. According to Chris, even if he is working in the northern part of Israel, far from the most targeted areas, he still fears for his security. Chris' salary in Israel is triple compared in the Philippines, but he is willing to give it all up and head back to his home country. Yes. Lilikas po dahil hindi naman po namin alam kung hanggang kailan ang uh, tensyon na mararanasan namin dito. Labor Secretary Silvestre Bello III said that the tension is getting worse in Israel but there is no reported Filipino casualty. Meron lang isa na nagpatulong na malipat dahil yung kanyang employer sa muntik ng mother, maha, mabul sa iyo ba Kaya sa takot, nagpatulong na maiipat mo na siya. Kaya kinawa siya ng ating labor at sa siya at nilipat sa uh, shelter at ang nasaan ang pagkakasamahan ng trabayan natin. Secretary Bello says Filipinos planning to go to Israel can still process their documents because there is no deployment ban yet imposed in the country. We are waiting for the signal coming from the Department of Foreign Affairs pagdating sa sa ban o no, kaya sa repatriation eh hinihintay natin pag nag level 3 or 4 na ayun then deployment ban at saka maaaring force repatriation pero sa ngayon Ray wala pa To date, Israel is host to around 70,000 OFWs mostly working as caregivers and hotel workers Ray Pilayo, UNTV News and Rescue We serve the people, we give glory to God